Uh, the final episode of The Masked Singer was on Wednesday night. And on Wednesday, being the final episode, we had the top three, and all three of the finalists were finally revealed. By the way, it has been renewed for season two, and this finale was the highest rated episode of the season. I actually went on social media, got some comments from people, and I had no idea how many pe people loved the show. People are addicted to The Masked Singer. So we got to give you the final recap. I'm kind of sad it's the final one. So first up, we had The Peacock. The Peacock was up first singing a song that I feel did not show any vocal range, <laughs> but it showed performance. It was Shake a Tail Feather. You know that song? Come on, let me see you shake a tail feather. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Not and you were right about this person. Well, don't tell yet. I'm not telling. Don't tell yet. I'm not. Uh, I, the performance, the choreography, fantastic. Vocally, one of the weak, weakest performances from the Peacock. Because it just did not show off the, vo the right, voice. Right, okay? right. Okay? So the peacock performed first. Thank you, okay. peacock. Okay. Now, up second was my personal favorite, Queen Bee, the bee, who is, oh my gosh, she sang the most amazing version of the Bonnie Raitt song, I can make you love me if you don't. You know that song? Oh my gosh, the bee brought down the house. And it's very funny to watch the judges listening to these performances. As a bee and sobbing, crying. I still think that's a bit ridiculous. Like, they're in a bee costume. Quit your crying, okay? <laughs> Quit your crying. Thank you. Bee did amazing. My, my best performance of the night was the bee. Coming in for the final performance was the monster. And let me tell you again, monster, mm -hmm. you have a great voice, monster. Thank you very much. However, the song choice you sang... Not the best of the season, and he's saying Montel Jordan's This is how we do it. Bump, bump. This is how we do it. I love the song. I like the song. I love the song. Now, was it the strongest of his whole run on The Mass Singer? No. No, it wasn't. Okay. No, it wasn't. He did have some. Oh, there we go. Oh, taking me back to high school right now. Okay, here we go. It just was not. Fancy feet work, good choreography. Vocally, I'm going, it's called The Masked Singer, not The Masked Dancer. That's right. Okay. okay. So, thank you so much, Monster. Now, we are going to finally get to reveal what place everybody came in. We get to third place. Shockingly, third place was The B, And The B was revealed to be the oh. one and only legendary Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight, she, I'm telling you, she by far was the best singer, of course. She's a legend. Best singer of the competition. Every single performance was strong, which makes me wonder how the voting really happened because this was amazing. Every single one. Oh, Gladys, you're leaving on that midnight train to George. All right, thanks, Gladys. Then, coming in was the top two Peacock versus Monster. Second place was announced to be the Peacock. And I got to call it, I was right from like day one. I came and told Kelly, day one. The peacock was Donny Osmond. Sing it. Sing it. Donny, what is his famous puppy song? Puppy Love. Puppy. puppy Love. And they call oh, it Puppy Love. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Donny Marie. Yes. We should be Donny Marie next Halloween. <laughs> yes. There, uh, he did a great job. Not his best performance last night, but he's a performer. Mm -hmm. Knocked it out of the park with the choreography. Then, finally, the winner, the grand champion of season one was the monster, who was revealed to be, which I also called this one, T-Pain. By the way, I'm not really familiar with T-Pain. He's very famous, I guess, for auto-tune. Kaylee and Kelly, come in here. Let's show the final map. All of my stickers are done now. Everybody is revealed, except for, you can see right here on the monster, he gets the golden mask for the grand champion. But he didn't have the best voice, did well, he? I, I will tell you this. It, it, was me, it was between the monster... And the B. Okay. I'm just saying he has an amazing voice. Mm -hmm. Just last night for the finale, if you're judging just on the finale, mm -hmm. it was not his best performance. Okay. So at the end of the show, they get to sing one last time with their mask off. He ended up singing a song he sang a couple of weeks ago, which was way better vocally, which makes me think, yeah, that wasn't your best song because you didn't even sing that for your final song. But did they all disguise their voice because you thought Donny Osmond kind of disguised his voice? I think so. If you go back to episode one, it did not sound like Donny Osmond, but I did have a feeling it was him, the whole yeah. Vegas thing. But yeah. Mass Singer is officially over.